Hello everybody, this is Komamak, back here for a deck profile, a badly done one like usual. I don't have any tripods, so the camera is going to shake a lot. Uh, this is a Alk deck, deck profile, uh, remember that triangle, Alk? <laughs> really fun to play, fun to play. Uh, yeah, this is the mat I'm going to give my friend uh, Isaac Darka, don't tell him. I'm probably going to upload this video after I give it to him, but hey. Uh, yeah, the mat of this new sneak peek for, for the beginning of Legion. Going to be doing some, some uh, witches deck. It's going to be awesome. Anyways. So first of all, we have the starter. I'm just going to move that here. Okay, the starter. Her name is... Sorry, need to read. Bermuda Triangle, Kadet Shizuku. Ah, ah, ah. I'm also not reading in English. Uh, so it's the Great Researcher. Uh, I'm running an alt deck, so you want to break right on top of break right and 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 break right with alt. So you're gonna need a lot of grade threes, and she helps me get the Aka that I miss, or the break card that I need, or another card that uh, I should say right now that this deck was inspired by. Uh, if you go to CTV uh, channel, uh, it's a Vanguard card fight uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, it was inspired by one of the friend of the guy that hosted the channel. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a really good deck. And, it, it, it does some work. It's, it, you always hit, hit like crazy numbers and it's, it's just fun to play. Then uh, I run 3 arc the start of the deck. I don't run 4 because I want to maximi maximize the number of break cards that I have. Uh, of course this has, I, I don't have every card that I want to have but it still does a good job with what I have so only 3. If I had the opportunity to run 4 I would still run 3 because it works well and uh, even if it's, you can still use her skill, uh, her skill by the way if you don't know is, well, she has two skills, her limit risk skill is, uh, uh, at the end of the turn that this unit has attacked the vanguard, you may choose a great three from, parent triangle from your hand and write it as rest. If you do, choose one custom idle arc from your soul, return it to your hand and draw a card. And then her second skill is once she's placed on vanguard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Bermuda triangle rear guard, return her to the hand, and she all gets 5,000 power. She has Lord, of course. So, yeah. Uh, you can still use the Limit Break skill with her, but the thing is you don't get the power of the Break Ride, which is what I'm really searching for. So I would really ma maximize the number of Break Ride that I have before maximizing the number of Alk that I have. So that, that's my theory. Uh, then I'm running to uh, Dancing Princess Minato. So that, I wasn't going to do it first uh, the first time, but then I saw the video, like I said, from TV channel. I don't even know if that's the full name of the, chat, of the uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube account, but anyways. I got the idea, so this card skill is when she's played, uh, she, if she's on rear guard and you run a great turn in vanguard circle, she gets 10,000 power. Everybody's like, okay, that's kind of stupid, you just need to, well, okay, it's not stupid because you realize that this is a break ride deck and you just ride on top, ride, ride, ride non-stop. But the thing is, it doesn't stop here. You, let's say you break ride, so she's on rear guard, she gets 10,000 power, she's at 20, okay? She, you, by the way, you don't want to ride her 10k vanguard, she, and she has no skills. It's, that's not what you're aiming to ride, but it only happened to me once that I, that I was forced to ride her, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't want to use all skill with her either. You, like she, it's, if you need the defense, like, well, the fact that she's 10k actually lowers your defense. It, it's weird, but you really don't want to ride her. Uh, anyways, so like I was saying, you break right, she gets 10,000 power, she's at 20k. Then you're like, okay, so she's swinging for 20 and then boosted, yeah, that's a lot. No, 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 you don't get it. Then you use, you attack with Ark and you use your skill. To, you put a grade 3 on rest on Vanguard Circle and return Ark to hand. So she gets another 10k. She's 30 by herself. I'm telling you, this deck hits ridiculous numbers. Okay, afterwards we have our first break ride. Uh, wait a second. Ah, for Vert, uh, I would, if I had a choice, I would probably run, like, hmm, three Vert and, well, Vert helps. The, the thing I like with Vert is that she makes you draw a card. So you, know, you minus one for hiding, you draw a card, and you get 10,000 power, and you call back unit into your hand. That helps activate scales with the deck. So no matter what, she's really helpful. I... Uh, yeah, that's the break ride. That's the second break ride I run. Uh, I would like to run at least one more, but I don't know if I'd uh, remove Vert for it. I, I, I don't know because Vert is really useful for 
plusing. This is really just for a push. And if you don't have any cards in hand, like uh, if you don't know your scale, is at the end of the turn, at wait a second, I should read. When a Vanguard triangle right this unit, it gets another power on its scale. If this unit attacks a Vanguard, you pay the cost. If you do, the cost is kind of last one. Return all your Vanguard triangle to hand and choose two burn triangle and call them to separate rear guard circles. Uh, so yeah, uh, like if you don't have any cards in hand, let's say you have three grade twos in hand, it's like oh great, I can only call two grade twos, then use the skill and then call another two grade twos. I, I have no booster, so you know, if you have a big hand, it helps. That's why I, I like them at two and maybe at three, but definitely not at four because I just I won't be able to plus like Vert helps me do. Yeah, so right now six break ride. And with all, and yeah, with Minato, so you can also already see the end scene number, so you know you break right out on top. I'm gonna show it, show it later, gonna be impressed. Then, to help you achieve increase your numbers, we run four Prism Promise Celtic. Uh, you know, once you scroll back from Rear Guard Circle, Soul Blast 1, give a unit 4000 power, helps you get some power. And yeah, I don't have every Bermuda Triangle card, so that's why uh, the next card you're going to see are... Well... Y you can... S I would prefer run other stuff like... Uh, uh, Ryu or stuff like this, but... Yeah, I do with what I, what I have. This is the uh, 9k Bermuda Triangle count. When it hits, kind of blast 2 draw card. Gives you some draw power, and this deck does not kind of blast at all, except for the break ride, the starter, and this. So. Uh, yeah, and then 10k beaters. Because I, re I really don't have anything else, but it really works. Alk does, Alk and Minato does, and the Break Rider do all the job. The Great Twos are just here for like, well, Stealth Day helps you get crazy numbers, and yeah. The other Great Twos, it's like, ah, oh, okay, I got nothing else to play, I'm gonna play those Great Twos. For Perfect Guard, I have a couple of the Prism one, uh, but I prefer run, running the, those ones, because I'm leaving the Prism for my duo deck, and so yeah, just keep these these here. Uh, two Celtic, you know, same thing as Clear, except it's a Great One. Uh, yeah, t it, two is okay. I don't like to run more. Well, probably two more because you're over reason gonna see later. Anyways, other grade one we have is Yamork. I uh, want Yamork is the other card that helps you get crazy numbers and just push for ridiculous amounts. So uh, one of you need burn triangle units is returned to your hand. She gets plus two thousand power. I'm just letting you think about that, and I'm gonna explain it later. So then we have Sedna. Uh, Ikevanilla, that's why I was, I said I preferred to run more Celtic, maybe, because it's cool to have the 8k, everybody just runs 7k, first of all, they're like, okay, I ride my 7k Vanguard, because, you know, 10k is like, all the skills, and they're like, oh my god, you're 8k, I can't hit you, oh no, okay, I'll call a draw trigger, or, oh my god, I, I can't hit you, that, that, oh, and then you're like, <laughs> but then you cry because you need limit break to use any, to use any of your skills, because there's, well, except for the Colonel Blast 2 draw card, all of your skill require limit break, so you're like, no, why am I 8k? So, yeah, I might run another Celtic or other grade one if I had the opportunity, but that's the best that I have right now. Uh, tree lineup, four heals. You could go with 12 crits if you want. Well, talking about crits, I have two of this dual crits. Two of those dual crits, black and white, of course. Two of, wait a second. Two of those crits. Normally I run two of these, but they're not here for now. I'll search later. And you can run 12 crits with AUG, but uh, I prefer running those draw triggers. These ones. Uh, since you don't need any specific, I'm running these ones. Uh, those ones, you can put them in the soul to get soul for AUG or Celtic or uh, Clear. And give 3,000 to someone, because, you know, that's 10k, so you can... Upper hit cross ride or something like that. And also draw trigger to draw into your grade threes because you actually need to break ride and break ride and break ride. So if you don't have anything, well, it's sad. Sorry for any background noise. So I'll search for my critical trigger later. I'll just pick up the triggers like this so I don't forget. Where is my draw trigger? Oh, okay. It's, it's here. My auto crit. Okay, and then I'll explain to you what I mean by crazy ridiculous numbers. Wait a second, people. It's gonna be amazing.
Okay. So let's just let me just put the field. So what will we go? What? Okay, we'll go for perfection. Okay, two minute over here. Um, hmm. I guess I'll show you two scenarios. So let's say first scenario is revert. Then we'll have. I guess we'll have. Hmm. Two of her and one of Celtic. Well, you may have other Celtic or other clear. I'll just put one Celtic here. Well, no. Okay, we'll, we'll go for two Celtic. And just let this here market ridiculous numbers. So I'll put them closer because of the camera that I'm holding. First of all, you break right with Auk. Yeah, break right with Auk. Then you return two unit to hand. Those two. And you draw a card. So plus 10, plus 10, plus 6. Then you can use Auk skill. You don't have to return anything to your hand. So plus 1, plus 5. Then you can use both of those skills. I'm sorry, I don't have any soul. Let's just imagine that I have a soul. No, no, I have a soul. Okay, let's picture that Alk has a soul, but she has a soul. A anyways, just, you know, soul, like cards underneath. Okay, so then you use both of those skills, you just pump up anything you want, and you call units back, and then you attack with Alk first, because you have no stand trigger, and then at, at the end of the attack, you, well, first of all, you use the skill, you ride, a break ride, as rest, you return Alk to your hand, and that makes plus 10, plus 10. Okay, I should maybe... Move the camera, plus 10, plus 10, after you use Ox scale. So that's going to be hitting for uh, 37 plus, let's say you use clear skill, that would be 41,000. Let's say you use it another time, that would be 45, like, because of the two clear. I don't know where you put, you would put the power, you count, I don't feel like counting. And this, she get plus 6, so she's at 12, and that's 30, so that's 42. If you use a clear, that would be 46 or 50. I'm telling you ridiculous numbers, and I didn't even say how much Ark was hitting for. Wait, so uh, that's 18 plus the 5,000, that'd be 23, plus the break card, 33. So you're hitting for ridiculous numbers. If you're, and it's each turn, it does not stop, and that is the fun part with Ark. And it's a tanky deck, too, so if the opponent is going to have a hard time be killing you, but giving you damage, you're just gonna break quite and attack with ridiculous amount of power. Now let's say we break quite with uh, uh, Milady Mirror here. Okay, so you break right with Alk. Okay, I'll just put more cards in the soul. It just works better. You can picture it better. Okay, you break right with Alk. Okay, then use Alk skill. Soul blast one, she gets plus five. You return your card to hand. Okay, by the way, because you break right, plus ten, plus ten. And you use Alk skill, so plus five. Return the card to hand plus three, then you can use Celtic skill to Soul Blast one, and give plus four here, you call back Celtic, and then because you broke right mirror, your attack pattern, well, I just retired break right, okay, you broke right mirror, so your attack pattern needs to change, so you'll start with this, so that would be uh, plus three, so that would be 29, that will be 31, because you know, you, you use use the clear skill, then you attack with Auk, you counter blast for the break right skill, return everything to hand, then, okay, you, there's those two clear, okay, but because uh, in Vanguard, if many things happen at the same time, you just choose the order, so technically you return them to hand, then you finish your break right skill, you are, always need to finish an effect before using the next effect, so you call two more units, so let's say I call her and uh, clear, then you're like, hey, dude, I had two clears, I'll use your skill. So you Soul Blast 2, plus 8 here or to Auk, you decide, and then you just attack. So that would be like 21, or I don't know how much, crazy number. That would be even more, 26, and if you use clear skills, that would be 30. And then, and if you use both, it would be 34, so ridiculous number. And don't forget to drive check, that's even the scarier part. So that people would be using perfect guard on Hawk and on your rear guard if you get triggers, cause that, cause because you finish attacking with Hawk, you choose a grade three, you ride as rest, you return Hawk to hand, and that's plus ten. So that's gonna be hitting for twenty seven, and if you use clear skill here, that'd be thirty one or thirty five. So you're getting another perfect guard. Someone is using like three perfect, three or four perfect guard in one turn. It's crazy. I love Hawk. She's awesome. See, that's the deck. As you can see. 
it it hits for ridiculous numbers and unlike Amon, haha, <laughs> shots fired, dark regulars, it actually you actually get have a good, good amount of defense because you know you're gonna you draw cards with Vert to break right and yeah, just does a really good job at everything it needs to do. I've I think I decked out one to the deck because the game was just too long. The person was having a hand tank deck and I wasn't able to finish it and he wasn't able to finish me too because like I said this deck is actually tanky and uh, also each time you use off skill if, uh, when you ride a great three on top and you return her to hand you draw a card so here again you just plus well and, well technically you minus for riding but then you return off your hand yeah technically you plus one so yeah here again all tanking Sorry for any background noises. So yeah, so this was my Alk dot profile. Look at Alk. What did she say? Yes, she is known for having put on over a thousand costumes. So, with that I'll leave you. It was Komao Filipino Ninja.